We're going to talk about uh, the growth stages of corn. We've looked at planting uh, in earlier videos and what it took to get that corn seed in the ground, get it up, even seen the seed to a little seedling of that uh, emergence and getting that plant going. That plant had to have water, uh, nutrients, soil contact, uh, oxygen to get it out and going. So in a very short time period here, just 60 days, a little over 60 days since we shot that, that was in middle of April, here it is mid-June plus, and we've already got a ear form to make a corn crop. That started out with the, with the seed that we showed you, had the seed treatment on it, uh, to the little seedling we've seen to that plant growing, and you've seen some uh, different videos of plants being knee high to hip high, three or four foot tall. And that plant has the ear in it. So you make your yield, you start out with a certain yield based on what happened from that coming out of the ground to this three or four foot tall. You're setting yield right then based on what the weather conditions are, what nutrients are, sunlight to produce that crop. As you can see, that is an ear in that stalk already coming. So if you dug that out, it is just a little bitty corn cob. Uh, it's real soft, but you can actually see the kernels on the top. And so uh, you've seen, if you've seen corn on a salad bar, be a little corn cob about that long. That's not this corn, but that's similar to what you're seeing. That uh, plant continues to grow to that plant having a root system, to it putting out an ear and a tassel. That tassel has a pollen on it. You can see that corn's seven, eight foot tall, has a tassel on it. That tassel drops pollen out of these little sacks that's on that tassel, comes down, pollinates these silks on the ear corn. Each one of these silks run to a kernel on the ear corn. I'll show you that here on an actual ear that has already been pollinated. These silks are these right here. If you go out in the field, there's the pollen looks like dust. It is microscopic almost, but it's like a, just a fine dust that comes down. If there's 600, 500, 600 kernels on this cob, pollen has to touch each one of these. That's why they need to be wet. That's when like a, a dry period, corn may not pollinate because these silks get dry. Each one of these silks run to a kernel on, a, on the cob, pollinates it. That kernel's already been pollinated because you can pop them and them will eventually make a kernel of corn, each one of them. Now you can see, I can show you right here up close, if one does not pollinate, it's got a blank on it. So there's one that did not pollinate. You can see that little blank spot. So we're on the way to make a, a corn crop. Here it is, middle, latter part of June. Um, the neat thing is you can take one kernel of corn and make five or six hundred kernels. But I want to show you that kernel of corn. I want to show you that kernel of corn we started out with. Guess what? It's still down there on the root system. There's where it started. A lot of times they'll still be the color that they were when they started, like that purple or whatever. But that was your kernel of corn you started with. And uh, like we talked about, to make 180, 220 bushel of corn, you need 34,000 of these ears in an acre, and them all fill out to make that uh, crop that you're looking for. Took two with you. As we looked at before, the stalk, 
and the root system on it. These are actually the roots that bring in the nutrients, the uh, water out of the ground. And then there's another set of roots called brace roots. As you see here, these big set of roots here, these roots, these are brace roots to make the plant stable. You can see on these stalks how they're at the ground, which is really right where we want them. In the previous video where we was planting two, two and a quarter inches deep, there was a reason for doing that. that the deeper you plant the corn, you'll get your brace roots just for where you want them. If you plant the corn too shallow, these roots, these brace roots come out way up high and it'll make your corn unstable in the wind. These brace roots is what keeps the plant standing during a windstorm. If you don't have too much wind to break the corn, it'll keep the actual plant standing and that's what them brace roots are for and that's why you have a certain planting depth. You may see people's gardens where they have sweet corn. That sweet corn will blow over a lot of times and it's because of the depth of, of what that sweet corn is planted. But you can see, see them there really plain and what they do and holding the plant up. And you see another set coming out here on this stalk. Really pre prevalent right here on this one. But uh, it's a neat way that corn takes care of itself so many different ways uh, with the roots, the plant. It's talking about moisture and heat during the heat of the day. When moisture gets lacking, the, you may see corn rolled up, the leaves rolled up on the corn, and that is the corn protecting itself from the sunlight. One of the main things that corn's got to have is photosynthesis, and uh, it wants that sunlight, but it also knows to try to protect itself in that.